Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. Yesterday we are at all time highs on the 1 hour chart. We just got off of overbought territory yesterday and the 1 hour MACD is beginning to turn positive. So a reversal of continuing this uptrend. And on the 4 hour chart we just got off of overbought territory on the RSI as well and we're finding support on the 18 and 9 moving average on the daily chart well daily chart let's see we are nearing overbought territory on the RSI and the MACD was positive and I do see us possibly continuing on higher reason why we still have a lot of volume as you can see yesterday is pretty abnormal to see a high volume at all time high so we did have somewhat of a big news yesterday causing that volume strike so we had a large open higher open yesterday and then we slowly dipped and reversed on higher so that's explanation why we saw a large volume yesterday but we did continue on closing higher so that's a positive note for the bulls so at the moment there is really no resistance so I can't really price for resistance but for support if we do lose steam and calm down a bit I do see us hitting or hitting support roughly around this price or the nine day moving average which coincides with past resistance right here and that is the price of 291 and 50 cents so I'll find this as support if we do calm down a little bit so that price movement is roughly around I would say 1% move down onto the next module. I'll compare today's current trend right here with this trend. And this trend dated back to August 15th to November 10th, 2014. I'll point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the beginning of the trend, we had an uptrend, stayed above the middle Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to lose steam, touch the bottom Bollinger Band right here and once more down here as well and then we quickly reversed and touched the upper Bollinger Band at these instances right there so we have the trend in question so we were above the middle Bollinger Band for several days and then it lost steam touched the bottom Bollinger Band once here and then twice later on right here so they there were short covering and then we see explosive massive explosive volume to the upside right there as well and this will be a green touching the upper Bollinger Band so what we have is one two three four points one two three four points as well so there's reason to believe that the patterns and trend are the same the outcome and forecast would also be the same so let's look at the forecast model for august 15 2014 to november 10 2014 so one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out seven days out Back then, the S&P 500 or SPY was up around 60 basis points. So we do see some price action being sideways. So do expect that. And here's the line chart that I compared it to the current trend right here and the 2014 trend right there. So that is all. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.